Quick review. Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. The future. Humanity is at war with a hive mind alien species called the Buggers. In response to this planetary threat, a man named Colonel Graff is searching for the next brilliant military mind to save humanity. He has his eyes set on Andrew Wigan, a.k.a. Ender. Ender is smart as f***, but he's a gentle soul that doesn't want to hurt anybody. Colonel Graff comes to Ender's home and takes him away to battle school. At the battle school, Ender is put through trial after trial and game after game. He's so brilliant, however, that none of the other kids at this school can stand a chance against him. This causes Colonel Graff to make the games they play more and more unfair. Yet Ender continues winning despite the unfairness. Later, Colonel Graff takes him to command school, where Ender isn't just fighting, he's in charge of his own platoon of fighters. The leaders at this school put him in a battle simulation against the Buggers, and this is the hardest game that Ender has ever been a part of. Eventually, he decides to commit a suicidally desperate attack, so that way the game would finally be finished. He intends this to be an insult towards the command school leaders, but they're cheering and crying as if he's just done the greatest thing ever. What is going on? They tell Ender that the game he's been playing wasn't a game at all. Those were really the buggers, and he actually destroyed their home planet. This devastates Ender. He eventually finds a tiny bugger pupa and travels the galaxy, searching for a home to take it to where it can be safe from the humans. Ender's Game is a wonderful book directed at children that isn't afraid to ask difficult questions. Ender himself is the perfect protagonist for this type of story, and his strategic genius, combined with his emotional vulnerability, really enforces the idea of personal sacrifice that is necessary to save humanity. Yet the ambiguity of Colonel Graff's actions and whether or not they are the right actions to take make this children's story far more philosophical than it has any right to be. 6 out of 10, thanks for watching.